Welcome back. By now, I'm sure you have got the pattern and the basic idea what we do in dynamic programming and what kind of problems generally are solved using this approach. As we promised, we're gonna cover a bit more problems that falls under this design technique as generally people do struggle a lot understanding these optimization problems. So in this lecture, we're gonna understand the very classical optimization problem that's a rod cutting problem. In this problem, we are given a rod of some size n, let's say n is 4, and we can cut it into smaller parts, that is any number of smaller pieces, where every piece would be of some specific price. Now the task is to sell this rod in such a way that it gives us the maximum revenue. So every piece of rod is of different price. We choose that bunch of pieces by selling which we get the maximum price. It can be rod of size 4 itself if selling bigger piece is giving max revenue or even four smaller pieces of size one if they are making the revenue maximum. Suppose these are the prices for pieces of length one, two, three, and four. In this case, if we divide the rod into two parts of length two and two, we will achieve max revenue, which will be 10. So how we solve this? We look for all the possible combinations and see where the first cut will be. If it is at length 1, we check max profit for remaining length piece, which is 3. That's basically our sub-problem. We recursively find the maximum revenue for rod of length 3 and add it to the price of the first piece of rod. That will be the max revenue where at least one piece of rod is of length 1. Similarly, we calculate the revenue when a cut is at length 2. If one piece of length 2, we check for rod of remaining n minus 2 length and we add the max to the price of second rod. Same goes with piece of rod of size 3 and 4. This will cover all possible combinations in which the rod can be cut. As we are dividing the given rod in two pieces at every recursive call, which are i and n minus i. So for a rod of size n, we check combination starting from every i length piece till the length n, where the next piece can be of length 1 to n minus i. So we do calculate obtainable revenue for each combination and choose the one which is maximum. So we create a function that will calculate the max revenue that we can achieve by cutting the rod of length n and we calculate for every iteration i by adding the price of current length with the revenue for remaining length n minus i. Here i is in range 1 to n, so we recursively check the total obtainable price in each case and return the maximum. Now the base case is when length of rod is 0, in that case the price will be 0. Now considering this approach, if we draw a recursion tree, we can see there are overlapping subproblems. So this problem clearly has optimal substructure and overlapping subproblems, so we can solve it with dynamic programming. First approach is top-down approach. With this approach, we memoize all the results of recursive call in an array. So we take an array of size n and store result of every nth call at n minus 1th index. For instance, here first recursive call will be for n equals to 3, then 2, and then 1. And finally, we reach to the base case. It gets value for n equals to 1 and store at index 0 in this array. 
then we calculate for n equals to 2 and we go through every possible combination and get the max among these values and store here in this array at index 1. Now for n equals to 3, we calculate other possible combinations here. Here when we come across the problem that is already solved, which is for n equals to 1, we don't calculate it further, we just pick the value from the array and again choose the maximum among these values and store it to index 2. Same continues, we don't again calculate similar subproblems. Rather, we take the result directly from the array and finally calculate the max revenue, which will be at n minus 1 index. Next, the bottom up approach. In this approach, we take an array of size n plus 1, where at 0, we store the value for rod of length 0, which is the base case. So we store the maximum revenue generated by each length i. For example, for rod of length 3, we use results stored at 0, 1, 2 indices for these subproblems. Let's understand. We take i and j pointers i for pointing rod of every length till n and j to go through results of subproblems. As we need to calculate maximum among all n minus i pieces. Here i ranges in 1 to n and j in 1 to i. And we start from rod of length 1. For length 1, we cannot cut it into further pieces, so the max revenue will be price of 0th index, that's 1, so we store it at i-th index, so we store 1 at the index 1. Next, for the rod of length 2, we look for combinations, first not cutting it into any pieces, so we add the price of first index with 0. Next, we decrement j and look for next combination which are of length 1 and 1 or in other words first piece of length 1 and for next we take the result of result present at i minus j position which is 1. We add these values and choose the maximum that is 5. So we store 5 at the index Now for i equals to 3, first possibility to not to cut it, so we add price for that piece which is at j minus 1 index. That's p2. Or we can cut this rod into the length 2 and 1. So for the first piece, we just take the price of that piece and for the second one, we take the max revenue that we have already stored at i minus j index, that is 1. Or the next combination that can be first piece can be of length 1 and the second piece can be of length 2. For the length 1, we just take the price of it and for the length 2, we take the position, we take the max revenue that we have that we are having at the index 2. So we will take these values and we can see among these values the max is 8 so we just fill this max revenue at the position i. So this continues for every combination we are taking the price for the first piece and for the remaining n minus i piece we are taking the max revenue that we are having in this array. So what we are doing to calculate maximum revenue at each length, we need to calculate the maximum of price for chosen j length rod plus the revenue for remaining i minus j length. So here i is ranging from 1 to n and we need to iterate again for the different values of i which we do with the pointer j. So j is in range 1 to n minus i. 